Okay, well, I'd like to introduce you to the latest addition to the Retro Steam Tech household. Yep, it's a Tomy Omnibot. This is the 5402 model. These were introduced in 1984. And at that time, this was the cutting edge state of the art in toy robots. Now, he has a few issues, which we'll cover shortly, but I'm really pleased generally with it. It's in very, very good condition. There is a very slight amount of yellowing to the case, but I'm not gonna bother with Retrobrite because it's really, it's really not that bad. It needs a good wipe over and a clean sort of clean up. The main issues with it are, it's missing its main battery. I'll take the back cover off in a minute and you can have a look. Uh, basically there is a lead acid battery which goes in here. Let's stop it there. Okay, I've whipped the back battery cover off and we'll have a closer look at uh, the back there. Yes, basically behind this metal strap, there is a small, like a motorcycle lead acid battery, which this these wires would normally connect to. There's a couple of uh, double A's that go in here. There is some corrosion on terminals here, but it's not bad. The terminals are still there. I think that can all be cleaned up. So yeah, that's, that's nothing major there. That can all be sorted. Okay, I've tipped it forward so you can have a look at the underside. We'll zoom in on the underside. Now, these are rubber tires. Well, they were rubber tires on the main, main four wheels here. And that they basically just go solid and crumble away to nothing. Fortunately, there is a lovely lady called Randy Rain in America who collects and restores model robots. She's got her own YouTube channel and I shall put a link in the description to her YouTube channel because it's if you're into model toy robots, it's a great channel. Anyway, she actually makes brand new rubber tires. She's got molds, she, she actually uh, casts proper rubber, new rubber tires for these wheels. And I've got a set coming from the States from her, so that will sort the wheels out. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with the Tomy Omnibot, it has a cassette player built into its chest, which we will... Uh... There. And you can program on cassette tapes, you can program it to do a specific number of moves, which is well cool actually. You can also program sounds on the tape too that it can play back. Uh, I don't know whether any of this works. As I said, I'm still, I haven't got the battery for it yet, the main battery. And um, until I get the tires, I don't want to disturb the bottom half. Well, I'll need to take that apart to take the tires off. So I'm, I haven't tested anything yet on the main robot itself. But all of this is in good condition. I'll show you the front a bit closer. Yeah, it, the, all of this is in all the um, legends and uh, everything on the control panel. It's all in very, very good nick. And the robot is very clean uh, in, in, in general. Uh, there's another issue which we will just have a quick look at. Okay, I've now got him resting on his back. And I don't know how well this will come out on the camera, but we'll, we'll zoom in onto the plastic dome. There are a couple of dings. There's one here and there's one here. They're not actual holes and they're not really too bad. Um, I'm not too worried about those because they are on the top. So, you know, when it's up, upright and operating, hopefully you won't notice them. I also have the remote control, it's very lucky. It's in excellent condition. It is missing the uh, battery cover, unfortunately, but I'm sure I can make something suitable. There was a, there was a little bit of corrosion on the battery terminals, but I've cleaned that off and uh, that, wasn't, that wasn't bad at all. So yeah, so we've got the uh, remote and I've tried batteries in the remote and the power light comes on, so that's obviously a good sign. And what I'm really, really pleased about is this other accessory, which it came with when it was new, which is quite often missing these days when you find them on eBay. Yes, the drinks tray. Yay. 
<laughs> so, I mean, there's a bit of uh, damage to the decal that goes around the edge. I think you can actually um, get replacement decals for these. I should have to look into that. But uh, yeah, it's in very, very good condition. I'm very, very pleased with that. I was very lucky to get this. So we need to do a few things to get it going. The tires being the most important thing. But um, we'll come back to this once I've got the parts I need to hopefully get it operational. The new battery arrived for the Omnibot which I have now fitted. We'll have a close look at that. Fortunately, you can still get the batteries for this. Now, the contacts up here for these two double A's were, once I'd got the robot apart, far worse than I thought they were in the corrosion. So basically, I've had to remake the contacts completely. So it's just a matter of um, cutting out the right shape in a bit of brass, folding it up. And originally they were riveted to the plastic behind the batteries. Uh, I found that 8BA screws and nuts will make a great substitute for the original little tiny rivets. So that, that has all been done and it all works nicely. Here's the front, we'll zoom in on the display. That's all now working. There you go, you can see that I set the time up. It all works perfectly. So, the next thing is the treads on the tires, the tires on the wheels, I should say. This is the other side of the Omnibot, and as you can see, it's had its new rubber tires fitted. These are absolutely super superb. They are made by the lovely Randy Rain in America, and I'm gonna put a link to her YouTube channel in the description she makes these she makes the molds for these and she molds these out of rubber that is actual real rubber these tires are made from and they're absolutely brilliant so we've got it powered up so let's make sure that it works so forwards backwards left right so we are all fully operational. Yay. Oh, press, press the speaker button there. <laughs> right, let's turn it back on its wheel. Now from the remote, you can also activate the sounds. So we've got this sound. And it also flashes the lights at the same time. And then there's this sound. Yeah, stop touching the controls, Alan. You don't want it to go off the bench. So that's all functioning perfectly. We'll now check out the tape player part of it. Now I'm going to try the, the tape function. So we'll open the cassette, which pops out like that. We'll put the tape in like that. You can actually play it with, it with it open, but we're going to close it up. Now we need to select tape. If we just want to use the tape player, you need to select tape on the control panel here. Then we turn the power on and then hopefully it should play something. <laughs> okay, so that's that. And the fast forward and rewind work too, so I'm really pleased. It means I haven't got to take that out and change the belt or anything. So that's that. Um, let's get him trundling around the floor so you can actually see it in action. Well, here he is on the very small amount of the retro steam tech workshop floor that hasn't got crap all over it. So let's give it a go. Look at him go, isn't he awesome? Yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. All I've got to do now is work out the program inside of it so that I can get him to bring me my beer in the evening. Randy Rain's tires on this thing are absolutely bloody brilliant.
So there you go, the Tomy Omnibot, fully operational and running brilliantly. Okay, that's it for now. I hope you like the little video on the Tony Omnibot. I'm certainly going to have a lot of fun with this guy, um, especially if I can teach him to bring me my beer in the evenings. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers.